Hey girl, welcome back. Listen, we about to jump into a cute little reading real fast, real quick. Not a big deal, okay? And who do we have on the show today? We have Mrs. Tiana Taylor and her a girl, her baby daddy, Mr. Aman Shumter. Welcome them to the show, okay? Now, if you haven't heard, these people right here are separating after seven long years of marriage. So, you know, seven years is usually around that seven-year itch. People start itching, honey, and they need a side chick to, to scratch it, baby. Okay? That's just how it goes. So, maybe Mr. Aman is not to blame for this separation. Okay? He said he had an itch and he needed somebody to scratch it. But it's like, why y'all never ask y'all wife to scratch it? I mean, Tiana over there showing cleavage. She over there keep her hair done. She over there um, just keep her body together. And it's like, you, uh, long nails? Girl, can them, can them fake nails scratch? Now, that could be the problem, girl. That could be a problem. So, we're going to pull some cards, girl. And we're going to see what's going on with why Tiana couldn't scratch the itch that Amon was experiencing. And now I think about it, he should have went to a doctor. But, girl, that's neither here nor there. That's alleged. So, let's go ahead and pull some cards, okay? And see what's going on with these people. And I pulled out the millennial card, honey, because I feel like the millennial cards speak to the millennial group, okay? So, let's go ahead and cut these cards. Cut this energy up for these folks. Keep it fair. Now, Divine Angels, if you could, please give me the best cards from this deck to describe... What is going on with Amon and his itch? Okay, let's just start there. Let's just start there, girl. Okay, keep it simple. Going on with this itch. Oh, uh uh. Seems like he lo he has no chill. Okay, that thing burning and itching. Alleged. That, girl, that's just what my cards got to say. Can't sit down, baby. What is going on? Hmm. Y'all check check that out. What's happening? Baby can't scratch it. So it says lost your ability to act rational, Amon. Okay, no regards for others' feelings. You overreacting. You're doing way too much. Okay. You're doing too much. Okay. So no chill with this itch. So she can scratch it if she wants to. You you itching all over. I, I'm I'm seeing that she tried to scratch it. Who can itch, who can scratch all that? Baby, she needed she needed help. Okay, so he had to call somebody. So we got shaking my head. Okay, no words can really do justice of what you just done, Amon. Okay, you, she very disappointed in you, and it's a stupid move. He feel like you made a stupid move, but I feel like you kept. I feel like this itch just kept on happening. Amon. Okay. Okay, so long, we got that out the way. Okay, so now let's see. Let's check on Tiana. Tiana. Tiana, what's going on, girl? How you doing? Um, is everything okay over there? Okay, because you have the same look. We don't know if you're feeling good, feeling bad, what's going on. You said that you cover things up. You, you'll cover up for the men in your life. You cover up for your daddy. You cover up for your producers. You cover up for boyfriends. You cover up. For everybody so now it's time to look out for yourself so girl with these cards tell me what's going on okay what did Amon do okay that's enough girl because uh, I'm not gonna beg you for answers so it <clears throat> seems like somebody was spilling the tea so, girl, this seems like if it wasn't for somebody telling, you would have just dealt with it, right? So, it's something juicy, hidden truth. Oh, she said she didn't even know. Oh, okay. Disclosing information, slander, gossip, shocking, untrustworthy. So, she probably thought that she had scratched the itch, took care of the itch, but he don't have no chill. It's like, she got to work. Who else working? Okay, so, and then she just hearing stuff, seeing stuff, okay, 
And I don't know if he's out there slandering her name, some somebody's name being slandered. So she feels like she can't trust him. Okay? The red phone just keep dialing, baby. And keep ringing. And he was put on blast. Baby, put on blast real fast, real quick. Being publicly embarrassed. Aw. Personal business being exposed. Exposing secrets and being called out. Okay. Uh, Amon, do you know this young lady? Hmm? Baby, did she put you on blast? Okay. Because like Karen called Sarah and baby. And okay, boomers. Outdated opinions, out of touch, closed mind, older people. And resisting some type of change, honey. So it seems like Tiana may have been resisting this change with um, Amon because she didn't want to be put on blast and she didn't want to be embarrassed when he got put on blast because she felt like she probably was being finessed, baby. Somebody was getting something in a slick way, which means he was acting like, okay, I'm chilling, baby. I'm good. I'm, I'm just going to chill. I ain't going to do nothing. You know, I'm just going to smoke and just chill, play the game. Yeah, and then got all type of little tenderness coming over all through the, throughout the girl house probably. Okay, and maybe some neighbors call him, and I see some neighbors pe peeking over the bushes, baby. Okay, they probably told. But either way, we got smoothing things out. Somebody's stealing something. Okay, buttering up, persuading somebody with charm. Yeah, okay, that sounds about right. You know, be being a hobosexual. But it seems like, you know, somebody told something. But she didn't want to let go of this relationship. She didn't want to be embarrassed. So, she was trying to scratch all his little itches, but just couldn't. She couldn't believe what she was hearing. Because she heard some extra stuff. Girl, what did you hear, girl? What did you hear on the telephone? Mm. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, she, girl, filters, okay? Trying to make something look better than what it is. Okay, things are not what it seems. She's sugarcoating something. Being breadcrumb. Avoid making any real efforts. Keep one's options open. Non-committal. Mind games. With a side hustle, honey. Freelance, making ends meet. Self-employment, part-time job. Extra income coming in. So it seems like he was doing something extra on the side, baby. And only making breadcrumbs, honey. Not even making a lot. But she couldn't believe what she heard. So I don't know what the man doing. And I'm, I'm not going to beg this girl. Because she said she embarrassed. Okay. So, let's see. I'm on. We need to know, honey. What did you get caught doing, honey? What were you doing? Let us know. Oh, he said he was just playing a game. Okay, you're just at home playing a game. Completing the task skillfully. Way to go. Nice work. Clever. Well done. Great move. Flexing, baby. He was flexing on them O's, baby. It says all about himself, baby. Selfish traits. Very flashy pride. Arrogant and insecure, honey. And boasting about it. Then the struggle was real for him, baby. Okay, hitting the rough patch in life. We can tell, baby. We can tell by how dry your mouth be sometimes, baby. But let me let me focus. Frustrating situation. Not easy. Trying time. Setback. Annoyed. So, because you annoy it, you're going to play games with your wife. Flexing with her money probably because you ain't played nobody basketball game in a while, baby. Okay. Now, you was over there on College Hill, but you know BET ain't paying nobody that much money. So the struggle was real. So I agree. You hit a, a rough patch. So what? You had to cheat? That answered the question? Baby. All right. Let's see. But it's, it's not saying that you, you... It's just saying you're playing a game, honey. Now what's the game that you're playing? Let's find out. What are the, what are the games that you're playing online? Okay, so he over there sending messages, maybe texting, baby, talking on the phone, girl. 
fish expectations, honey. So, okay, look like a woman waiting on waiting on the mail, baby. Waiting on the uh, cash app. Okay, distant horizon. Girl, is somebody getting flown out? Flewed out? What's the deal? So he thought he was playing it well with this girl money. This girl gonna see. She called into her bank account, found out that you flying people out. Okay. No chill. Okay, give me more about this no chill for a mind. Okay, so what he not chilling about? Okay, we got marriage here. Okay, so, okay. You love your wife, right? Nope, he said he traveling. He, he said he flying himself out. I'm on this trifling. Yep, he said, yep. He flying himself out, going shopping. But then, look where you're going now, to the courthouse. Okay. But he said he's going to ask for some money from her. Okay. So, he said he ain't working. So, she out there working so much. Um, she ain't spending no time with him. He got time to fly in and out. That's so trifling. So, let's see how Amon showed up in this marriage for Tiana and how Tiana showed up in this marriage for Amon. Okay. So, Amon, how did Tiana show up in this marriage for you? Okay. How did she show up? Uh-uh. You ain't got to tear nothing up. Now, Tiana, how did Amon show up in this marriage for you? Right now, how did both of y'all show up in this marriage together? Okay, I want to see what was the mutual energy. Okay, so let's see how our mind showed up. I mean, no, this is how Tiana showed up for our mind. She showed up as a mother. Okay, good. She not your mama, right? The kids' mama, I hope. You know, she was somebody that was very patient. She gave unconditional love, and she gave birth to his children. Also, it shows up that she was smothering and also abandoning children, inst instilling guilt in children for becoming independent, which means he, he said that she showed up as abandoning him. I mean, not abandoning him, but smothering him. Boy. And she was a networker, okay? She made sure that. You know, they 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 were the it, it couple. Cause what was he doing? Okay, so she was a networker. She enhanced their life. The shadow attribute speaks about um, information. She conveyed information only for her personal gain, and she sp spread fears and falsehoods. So, in other words, honey, she probably was just lying on the ground, baby. So, we, and she showed up for as a servant. It's like, what do you? What more do you want, sir? That's why he regretted. He, he regret getting caught. Okay, he should have chilled. He said he made a stupid move, because right now it says she delighted in serving him. She had a free and loving heart, but the shadow attribute speaks about using the lack of money as an excuse to not move forward with life. Boy. So, this is how he showed up to her. Look. As a trickster. Okay. It's saying that he showed up as somebody who played games, honey. He was a magician. He was always abracadabra in the situation. And he had, um, and she thought that he had predictable behavior. Like, she thought he was just going to be sitting at home, you know, maybe smoking, you know, playing a game. But no, he switched up on them. And it says he was manipulating others, okay, using his magic, baby, using his magic stick, his magic wand, baby. Also showed up as a king, okay, in light and leadership. You know, he was in charge. She let him lead the way. Also, um, the shallow attribute speaks about an excessive feeling of entitlement, a rulership without restraints, which means he did what he wanted. Also, he could be also be childish sometimes, okay? Even though childish and fun, because he was child and magical. 
It speaks about seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things. He had the belief that everything is possible. But also, his shadow attribute speaks about he was sometimes pessimistic. He also had depression sometimes, she said. And he had disbelief in miracles, believing that energies and actions are not required to grow, which means he was lazy. Now, now the energy between both of them, it was it was sweet, angel, angel, innocent, you know, energy. It speaks about um, helping those in need with no expectations in return, which means they was helping family, friends, giving. And also, the shadow attribute speaks about acting innocent. Okay, they both were acting innocent when they both weren't innocent or angelic to mislead others. Falsely claiming to be in touch with an angelic guidance. Okay, uh -uh, not lying about going to church. Next, we got rebels. So they had that, that hot energy between them. Okay, probably rebel and drinking, partying. Okay, allegedly, girl. That's what the cards are saying. It speaks about challenges authority to affect social change. Reject spiritual sp systems that do not serve their inner needs. But the um, shallow attribute speaks about um, rejects legitimate authority out of anger. Rebels out of peer pressure and fashion. Okay? If that ain't them. Okay, they love a good fashion photo shoot. And they also showing up as artists. So they showing up as somebody not, you know, like it's showing the best business. Showing up for fashion, they showing up as somebody that's an artist, you know, expressing themselves through creativity, whether it's basketball, music, whatever Tiana do, girl. I don't know what Tiana be doing over there. Okay, I, I really don't. I, I seen her on Sweet Sixteen. It's like, but who are your parents? What's what's going? On? I I didn't get no answers, and I still don't have them. Like, who are you? But anyway, well, she cute and she, you know, she fashionable. So it's like. Just go ahead, girl. Do your thing. But what do you do? But it says also using your talent as an excuse to mistreat others, posing as a starving artist for pity. So, honey, they go to acting like they starving, honey, and trying to get pity out of somebody, but I don't know how, girl. I guess, you know, trying to act sweet and angelic, but they rebels at the end of the day. You know, rebel for fashion, baby. But then also, he's showing the best of immature trickster. But, you know, he's allowed to lead. She's letting him lead. You know, I don't know if he got a kingdom or not. I don't know who house that is. But she's showing the best a mother, a servant, and somebody that networks. So she seems like she's the one holding this family together. At least it's family business. And he made a stupid move by making this thing public. Um, by letting this thing go all the way nationwide, baby. Because it's not on your side. Because the, filter, the filters were taken off, okay? And we saw and because of that, she was embarrassed. And sister girl got to step away from it, okay? Because it's like enough is enough. So he did something real bad. I wish the cards would tell me, honey. Girl, what did he, was he over here playing games? He over here acting like he a magician. What he doing, girl? Okay, Tiana, what is he doing? What are y'all, both y'all doing? Because you, you a rebel too, okay? I just want to know. We got lilies, we got gardens, okay, we got sweet stuff. Oh, we got snakes in the garden, okay, and the sun. So I see a healthy garden over here growing. I see, again, fashion, prettiness, looking good, okay, trying to be the ideal, the I, I can say ideal customer, trying to be the ideal relationship, but it's all type of tricks, snakes in the garden, honey, and you think it's a pretty garden to walk in, girl, you're going to get bit. And the snake also speaks about, you know, another woman, betrayal, seduction, okay, difference. Baby, it's a lot going on with the snake, baby. Probably dating some girl, cheating with a girl with tattoos. So that's going to be the reading for these folks, okay? I wish them the best in the future, honey. Oh, let's give them some advice. I mean, that's only fair. We're going to give them some advice. Where are my advice cards? I have to I guess we don't. Okay, let's give them some advice about the snakes in the garden, honey. And this trickster energy. Because Tiana seems like she over there doing her thing. 
even though in the middle we got this rebel energy but I think she putting up this rebel energy to try to keep this thing together and trying to blend in and trying to keep up with him but you can't keep up with this trickster because he's going to always have a new trick coming out of his hat so let's find like let's give Tiana some advice real fast real quick let's give Amon some advice okay and what's the advice for the marriage? Because they do have kids together. Okay. Now, Miss Tiana, honey, the cards tell you that you, um, your ancestral spiritual guides are offering your your guidance right now. So it says, pay attention to the uh, uh, pay attention to the signs and the omens that are occurring right now in your life, girl. Okay. So there are some signs. That you've been ignoring. And it says right now is not the time to do that. You need to pay attention to them. Okay. Because there's some good things that can be happening. And some bad things. And you're ignoring them. Okay. So pay attention girl. And then also you need to express yourself through rhythm and mo movement. By drumming and dancing. So girl I guess you're going to come out and finally do what she loved to do. Okay. And then next. Tiana did you disappear on this girl? Not my technology tripping. Okay, anyway, Panda, create a sacred space for yourself, Tiana, especially, uh, especially in your home, okay? Now, when it comes to Amon, Amon, honey, says he's a shark, baby. He said, trust your instinct to discern the truth of the situation, okay? There's blood in the water. Now is the time for deep emotional healing, Amon, okay? And, and some blood in the water over here with this shark it's something that's deep down that he need to he need to do some deep diving in the sea baby to figure out what's really going on with him also for the marriage we're going to say the platypus honey we stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life on those kids and it says oh no this is for a month okay he had blessings in his life now for the uh relationship it says road runner honey it says run it says keep your sense of humor and just keep it moving. Okay, and then be the honeybee. Okay, let compassion and forgiveness be the top priority in your situation. So that's going to be the reading, girl. My technology over here tripping anyway. So catch me on the next reading, okay? Talk to you later, girl. Bye.